Hey guys, welcome to My Picks 101. Today I have a review on my own custom mock that was partially inspired by Jang Brick's um, custom police force mock. Um, he was the first one I had an idea about this. I did take the actual body size. I'm pretty sure it's the same as that model that he has. But I added a whole new thing. I added lots of new features that only I have. And this is not really a mock for like playing with. So there's no playable features in that sense. Um, there's a lot of display features. It looks really good on the outside. Let's see. So, so here we have the front of this. And this is my favorite pose right here. Like, right there. It's pretty cool as well. Like, right there. That spoiler. Kind of looks a little too long in this one. This looks pretty cool, too. This is my least favorite view. It just looks kind of ugly. And obviously, there's the bottom. <laughs> this looks pretty cool as well, the top. Try to centralize that in a moment. We'll just zoom in on some features. Now, actually, I want to zoom out a little bit so that the focus is pretty stable. So, yeah. So, excuse me if the exposure is a little high. Actually, just that for you. Yeah, that works a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of clearer. So now you can really see this model. So in the front, what I did here is I created a design that does pop off, which is, I hate that. But honestly, I don't know what to do about that. I, mean, I just don't know what to do about that. Because I don't have, like, a long piece that goes underneath it as such but yeah so what this is designed on so up here are the police lights so they will be flashing um constantly at least when this is an active mode and over up here we have the police bar the main police bar which will also be flashing now there's also supposed to be now i can't really show these because they're really hidden features, but I wanted to give this a backstory. So, lights, these would also be flashing simultaneously as well, and so will the backlights, even though they seem to be red right now. So, what this is, um, I used a new technique that I found out about, and let me try to focus on it. I'm moving too much, aren't I? Yep, there we go. Kind of focus. You can basically get the idea. Now, these are actually racketed joints. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Okay, those are racketed joints. As you can see the kind of shadows of the rackets there. And now, usually you'd add that to obviously a racketed thing. But these are smooth hinge joints. I don't know if that's what you call them, but they're smooth. They're not racketed. If you put them here, because of this little um indent... Ugh. Oh, come on. Really? Really, camera? Okay, there we go. This is somewhat... There, you see that little circle? Now that's actually the size of a regular bar would be for this to clip onto. So if you do that, you clip it, and it actually creates a really soft joint that allows for minute precision. Now the problem with this is it's pretty loose, so if anything's heavy on there, I wouldn't recommend to use that at all. Racketed joints are the best for that. But for anything small, works really good as a smooth joint so it kind of like it, it's not too rough so you can actually angle it any way you like so it could be a full air brake obviously in full down mode but it could also go if depending on the precision of your finger in any direction 
Now, the police have not gone crazy like the Lego police has. Um, got the police sticker right there, the police emblem as well right there. Unfortunately, they don't have any on the side. They kind of forgot that. I mean, this is a pretty advanced police. They're not silly. They're not silly police, but for some reason they forgot that. But they do have this uh, Golden Gate Bridge. Or in Lego, in the Lego world, it would be the Green Gate Bridge. Because, you know, it's green. So let me show you that. And that is a printed piece. I got that in an exclusive set on Bricks by the Bay. I think it was 2012 or 2013. I can't remember really. Uh, yeah. It's really nice. And it came with a number of other ones. This is the one I use because obviously it fit my um, side skirt. Is I think that's what it's called. Sidebar to protect against damage from the side. So obviously this is an interceptor. Probably should have mentioned that. <laughs> That was kind of a fail. Yeah, fail. But anyway, the inside is also interesting. So what I did in here is created a smooth bank so it's only attached. Kind of attached. It's not fully attached. It's only technically connected with this spot and this spot. But with these, it kind of locks in place with the sidebars. And so obviously you have some... They're going at 82. That must be some serial speedster that they're catching. And as you can see, um, there's a steering shaft or the steering wheel, as most people refer to it. And a nice, comfy seat. I would really want to sit on that if I was a Lego minifigure. Um, there is some technically transparent piece right there. Doesn't really add too much. I kind of wanted to give it an in-depth look, though. So as you can see, it's also kind of reflective, which is also another cool thing. So it kind of gives the illusion that there's supposed to be like a storage area back there. And speaking of what's back there, there's an engine. It's actually a mid-sports car style that I was going for here, as was Lego Zhang, what he was used to be named as but now he's obviously changed it to Jang Bricks which I'm fine with that I'm completely cool with that and excuse me for this minor you can see there it's not completely smooth kinda of got a peel back there I was trying to move it from another set into this and yeah that happened <laughs> yeah that completely happened. And so as you can see, uses like thrusters or some kind of futuristic technology only the government agencies know about. So maybe it was like access from derived um like the smartest brains and maybe even something going on at Area fifty one. We don't know guys. But this is what the police have found and have used. So you can see there's transparent green and transparent light blue, which I love that color. It looks, I think it looks great. It's a nice, great color. So what that symbolizes is here is a non, um, like, the pure energy. Kind of like a kryptonite color, but it's not supposed to be kryptonite, guys. They're not evil. They're not evil, guys, okay? And then they kind of filter that, and then becomes a pure energy. The rest of it actually becomes stored in this this area right here, kind of off the camera right there. So in this gray area, that's where storage is. So it goes through there, through the gray filtration here. See it cycles through there, does that. And obviously, before it gets too heated, ventilation systems are installed. So that's that, and comes as this kind of assembly. And that's actually pretty much it. So obviously, the rest of it's just details, like side vents that look pretty nice. A uh, front vent, which also looks pretty nice. Let's put this right back together. And see it off. 
for the finale. So that is basically the mock I built. It's pretty cool. I like it. Maybe you like it too, guys. So that's pretty much it. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want more of these videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you.